it has been a while since I've done this. It's been almost a month since the cabin, and I just want to apologize for the kind of sporadic schedule that our video uploading took on. We planned it like it was going to be some sort of daily thing throughout the week, but then we got there and the Wi-Fi was not at all what James promised. And then we got back and I just... It's been hard to process everything that happened that week. But none of that's important now because we left it all behind us at the cabin. The bed bugs, the crazy parties, that terrible wooden bunk bed, all done and over with. I swear, I slept until like 1 the Saturday we got back. Anyways, it's just me right now, no Megan. I just wanted to upload a video kind of filling in the blanks of what actually happened that week. Because I feel like our sporadic posting really left some gaps. But first, I have just a little bit more footage that I wanted to upload. I think I'll show it to you first and then explain a little bit. This was filmed on Friday, by the way, on the drive back home. We were stopped at a gas station, but not for gas. James and all the guys went in to get some snacks. Kind of just saw an opportunity to rant, I guess, and took it. I filmed it on my new phone, so it might be kind of shaky. And I think there's one point where I set it down and you don't see anything. You just hear it, so if you want, there's like subtitles I think Megan put in to help. I, I don't know. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Enjoy! We are at a gas station on our way home. I'm in James's car because Curtis had some kind of family mix-up this morning or whatever and had to leave early, but I hadn't finished packing yet, so... Yeah, it's been about as fun as you can imagine. Mostly like a lot of classic rock radio and no talking. James has been really broody. I know he's pissed at me, but I think there's more to it than that. I... I don't know. I don't care. I'm not apologizing, and he's just gonna have to deal with that, because that's what you get when you act like a giant dick. I think he's moving, so I'm gonna put this down for a second and stop talking. Is somebody? No, I was, um, filming for a vlog update. At a gas station? It's so exciting about this place, you need to vlog about it. Maybe my friends are interested in the gas pumping process. If you don't want to talk about it, you can just say so. You don't need to get all snarky about it. Where are your friends? Inside the store, I think, getting junk food or energy drinks or some crap like that. Are they going to be long? I don't know. Well, are we going to be well, then? Why wouldn't we be? We said we're all going to get lunch together, remember? Yeah. Do you have a problem with that? Should I? Kate! I don't know if I've made this clear enough, James, but your friends are jerks. Really, Kate? Again? Yes, again! They have been jerks to everybody all week, and the minute they showed up, you started acting like one, too. It's like that night at the restaurant all over again. One minute you're the James that makes me feel like all the other idiots in the world don't matter or whatever, and the next you're this completely self-absorbed idiot acting out so that you feel like people like you. That's insane! And you think they're your friends, really? They suck. They ruined this vacation for us. All you guys did all the time was yell or punch each other or make fun of each other. I mean, those aren't friends. Would Hudson or Grant treat you like that? Really? Listen to what you're saying. You're saying all this after only knowing them for one week. So what? Well, I think I would know them a little bit better than you. I've spent the past three years knowing them. Well, then I feel sorry for you. Well, hey, look. Here come my idiot friends. Anything to say to them? Come on! Hey guys, what's up? You want a dip? James, what's up? Oh, I was just talking to Kate about, about something. Unbelievable. Oh, uh, yeah, no, she was just saying about how much she wants you to say. This is ridiculous. Hey, come tell these guys all the good things you're saying about them. Wow, I didn't know you were such a fan, Kate. You should have hung out with us more. Maybe you scared her off, man. You do that a lot. You're a creep. That's off. James, let's go. We're leaving. Whoa, what's the rush? Well, I guess we know who wears the pants. Not yet. Tell them what you were telling me about how great they are. I said you guys were dicks. <laughs> well, that was uncalled for. Tell them what you really said. How much fun you had, how you wish you could have stayed longer. Yeah, come on, Kate. Tell us. Go f*** yourself. Whoa, dude, you gotta keep her on a leash. We're not leaving until you tell them. Screw you. I'll walk. 150 kilometers? Don't be an idiot. I'd be more of an idiot if I stayed here with you. Come on, Kate. We gotta go. Go without me. Just say it. What the hell, James? What's wrong with you? Just tell them. Just say you had fun. I had fun. With who? With your friends. Your wonderful friends. But I thought you said my friends were dicks. Kate? I didn't 
mean it. That's crazy. No way, man. In the f car. Okay, can I just don't even? Honestly, I wasn't even sure until today if I was going to post all that, but I am so beyond caring at this point that it doesn't even matter. I just want to say one final thing and then we're done. Don't expect to be seeing any more of James on these videos. I'm still kind of confused about everything that happened that week, but I do know this. James is not the guy he was pretending to be, and I don't want to spend one more second with whoever the hell he actually is.